manager of our all of our vocational and employment services and um, I wanted to speak to you a little bit about the you know the reason for it today um, which is really you know related to October but for us it's every day so um, October is deemed as National Disability Employment Awareness Month and again for us like this is our our call this is what we do this is our mission every single day is to have our clients individuals with um, intellectual and developmental disabilities find employment in the community become independent and be able to really give back to the community in um, any way possible as they're building their independence so um, so uh, this this month really increases employer and business awareness of our population and the work that we do and it's it's really making people aware that individuals with disabilities are open and ready for work and recognizing the key piece and the important role that individuals with disabilities play so just be as i already said is all about independence and again our department and we have many and maybe some of the other staff could talk also about some of our other services at some point later uh, but our goal is really employment for dis individuals with disabilities in the community. And that really starts at the skill building stage and really working with them on developing their skills, building their knowledge of what they're capable of, and then identifying interests, and then moving into employment into the community. And, and based on what you're going to hear from the panel, we have done that with um, each of the employers that, that are going to speak, and you're going to hear from, from Jean as well about her experience. So I wanted to just say to you that this is probably the most exciting time for our work and um, share as much as I really hate to tell you about statistics, I, I wanted to share with you some minor statistics which may not sound too impressive, but since 2008, the amount of individuals with disabilities that have become employed in the workforce has really kind of staggered at like 32%. In this year, as much as you know, we've had the pandemic, we've coming, we're coming back from the pandemic, we've had inflation and all of these um, things that have hit businesses and, and companies and corporations, we have actually increased um, nationally the amount of individuals that are being employed in the community. And at this point, at the end of September, that, that goal has really um, escalated to 34%. Now, I, I know you're thinking, oh God, 32% to 34%, but that is staggering. 32% has been the number since 2008. That's 14 years ago, okay? So this is really an impressive goal, a, an impressive feat and accomplishment for the work that we're doing and other organizations across the country. And much of that is due to the work that we're doing, the work that all our organizations are doing with building our the awareness of hiring individuals with disabilities, really focusing in on skills and strengths and their desire to become employed in the community and to be the same as you or I in terms of being able to have a job and sustain ourselves and be financially independent. So that's just something that I wanted to share with you because this is really our mission and our goal so without you know continuing on and with my remarks I'll say a few more things at the end I did want to um, have our speakers you know speak a little bit about their experience and working with us and where they're at in the process with us and so I'm going to start with Beverly and I just do want to say um, initially she she is a very big um, integral part of our partnership and she is someone at the township of Maplewood that we've developed a really good rapport with. And she does need to leave after her after she speaks. So I just wanted to let you all know that. And Jane. after Jane speaks. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, differently able. I approach Jesse the JESPE organization and inquiring about opportunities to work with differently employees, differently abled employees. Lisa or JESPE was receptive to the idea and happy to collaborate on this new venture with the township. My, manager, my management and I interviewed and hired Jane Clark to work with us at the Township of Maplewood Building Department. 
As her start date neared, I became a little nervous, unsure of the impact of Jane's differences of her ability to perform. I put those thoughts out of my mind because as an employer, you never know what to expect from any new employee. We look at resumes, applications, conduct interviews, ask questions, listen to answers, trust our instincts, and hope for the best. Lo and behold, working with Jane is a pleasure. A great pleasure. Jane comes into the office every morning with a positive attitude and a bright smile. And at the end of the day, she leaves the same way. She is open, eager, determined, and willing to handle any task assigned to her. Her enthusiasm is refreshing. She asks questions when she needs clarifications and works at a slow, methodical, and thorough pace, always. Jane reminds us that we are different and work in different ways but are members of the same team. My instincts were right in hiring Jane. Jane working in the office is a learning experience, but I'm the one learning the most. In closing, I want to say thank you to the Jesse organization Lisa Ferrari and Jane Clark for agreeing to work with us. You allowed our building department to learn a valuable lesson. Now, when we hear differently abled, we will think less about different and focus more on able. Wonderful. I'm from Jaffe House. I work at the Maplewood Township building. By the way, the hip Beverly. Okay. <laughs> I do block a lot filing and play only video filing. Perfect. And play only video filing and also plotting paper. And and also, I get support from my job coach, Glenn, I get support from. <laughs> and he come to my job one a week. And also, he give me helpful advice and, and hint to make my job easier and without Jaffe I wouldn't have the job at all and I want to say thank you to everyone. <laughs>